Hello, I'm a postdoctoral fellow from Professor Beerley Summers Laboratory, and I'll be talking about antibody biomarkers that can predict therapy response in rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is the most common form of inflammatory arthritis. About 1% of the Belgian population suffers from rheumatoid arthritis. This condition is associated with inflammation of the smaller joints of the hand, feet, and wrist. Larger joints, such as shoulders, knees, hips, and ankles, can be affected. Rheumatoid arthritis results in joint inflammation, which can cause cartilage damage and loss of small pieces of bone. In addition to affecting the joints, other organs can also be affected, such as skin, heart, and lungs. Over the past two decades, the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis has evolved tremendously thanks to advances in the knowledge of the disease course. It is recommended to start with methotrexate and a short course of glucocorticoids as first-line treatment. The main goal of this treatment is to control joint inflammation in the early phase of the disease. Finding out which patient will respond to first-line therapy and which will not is currently done on the basis of trial and error. If a patient improves within six months, then he or she will continue treatment. If not, then the patient needs to switch to other therapies. Although first-line treatment gets the disease well under control in majority of rheumatoid arthritis patients, 30% of RA patients do not respond and experience a prolonged period of high disease activity. This process would be greatly aided by new biomarkers that can predict this therapy response even before treatment starts. Biomarkers are substances in the body that you can measure and can be associated with a particular disease state. They can be an indication of a particular disease, predict the disease course, or indicate the effect of treatment. Biomarkers are present in tissues such as spinal cord, urine, joint fluid, and blood, and are often present at a very early stage of the disease. Example of these are certain lipids or cholesterols as biomarkers for cardiovascular disease. There are different types of biomarkers, but within our research, we mainly look for antibodies which play a role within the disease. We all know today the antibodies that protect us from infections such as the coronavirus. But in the diseases that we study in our laboratory, the antibodies are directed against particles of our own body. To find these antibody biomarkers, we use a unique technique. We start with a piece of tissue from an RA patient, specifically from a biopsy or a piece of joint tissue left behind after the setting of a prosthesis. Then the recipe for this protein and the tissue are extracted and we express them on the surface of bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are viruses that infect only bacteria. Humans are not affected by this virus. Thus, we create a large array of virus particles with each virus representing a small particle of a human joint tissue on its surface. In this way, a representation of the patient's own body material is obtained in a test tube. With this, we can then search for antibodies and the patient's blood that can bind to the patient's own body material. For this study, we had access to blood samples from rheumatoid arthritis patients from the CARE and Early RA trial in collaboration with Professor Patrick Verschuren from University Hospital Leuven. In this trial, 400 patients with early rheumatoid arthritis were followed up after starting first-line therapy. We used blood samples from patients who did not show improved disease activity after the first-line therapy and thus had not achieved remission. Within our laboratory at the Biomedical Research Institute of Hassel University, we found three antibody biomarkers that were more present in rheumatoid arthritis patients who did not achieve early disease improvement at week eight, compared to patients who did. Moreover, these antibodies were more present in RA patients who failed to sustainably improve their disease in the first year. 
We hope that in the future, these antibodies can contribute to precision medicine and allow the administration of the most appropriate drugs to individualized patients. Hence, a patient will be tested for these identified biomarker antibodies, and if he or she is negative for the biomarkers, then they will receive methotrexate, and if he or she is positive for these biomarkers, then they will switch to other therapies. We will now further investigate our current findings by testing national and international groups to assess for the presence of these biomarkers. We are in the process of validating these results in the CAP48 cohort coordinated by, Prof by Professor Pratik Duray uh, from UC Leuven. Furthermore, we are looking at how we can bring this test to the clinic so that our A patients are, of course, truly helped by our research. For more information about the research, please visit the website indicated on the slide. Thank you.